Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. Today I have something a little bit different. Steve Jackson Games was nice enough to send me a copy of Deadly Doodles to review. It says it's a draw and draw game by Sam Mitski and Randy Schooneman, and it's illustrated by Katie Cook. In this quick playing doodle game, one to four players simultaneously draw a pass through a dangerous dungeon. Step number one, reveal the cards. Number two, draw your path. And number three, score. And you collect loot and weapons. Fight monsters or run away screaming. Can you defeat the dragon for the big score? Sounds interesting. Let's take a look inside. Never had a dungeon delve uh, where you write other than uh, four against darkness. That was a pen and paper game, but I think this is completely different. It says it includes four dungeon map boards, four dry erase markers, and 36 cards. goes over the setup and then the objective, which is draw past segments through your dungeon based on the cards revealed at the start of each round. Draw your path through loot for points and through the dragon for bonus points. Kill monsters for even more points by drawing your path through a monster and its matching weapon. But be careful, monsters will maul you if you don't have the right weapon. After seven rounds, points will be awarded based on the entire path or multiple paths you've drawn. So now it's talking about the cards in the path segments and there's traps too. And I guess there's cards that tell you to draw additional cards. And here's the formal rules here. And it's going over scoring. Let's take a look at, I guess you would call it, would you call it the map or the drawing board? Looks like there's one for each player. And it looks like it's dry erase material. So it's got treasures here, weapons, more treasure, monsters you can see here, dragon. And then it's got a part here telling you how to score. You got plus two for each loot, plus one for each weapon your path crosses, plus four for each monster, minus two for each monster your path crosses that does not match a weapon scored in item two. So that's like taking damage almost, I would guess. And plus one for each unused entryway area, and minus two for each unused card, and minus three for each trap that hits you. So it looks really straightforward. And here's the dry erase markers. Let's take a look at the cards. So they show you what kind of path to draw. A lot of straight ones. Here's some ones that make you turn. This one, more complex. There's your draw twos, and here's some traps. Looks cool, and it looks like something you could play with your kids. Look forward to trying this out and letting you guys know how it is. I'll probably uh, do a review on my website sometime within the next week, and I might do a playthrough on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.